Hello, my name is Jared Kelly and I'm a company member with Ballet Tucson. I began dancing at the age of six when my parents enrolled me into a K-8 performing arts school. I was taught drama, dance, visual art, and music. And dance was the one that stuck, thankfully. And I've stuck with it for 18 years now. I just turned 24 in January, so yeah. As a young child, I really struggled with self-confidence and low self-esteem. But dance was an escape for me. It made me feel beautiful. It made me feel like I was worth something. People actually noticed me when I was dancing. And I'm forever grateful because dance helped me to help myself and really pull myself out of those negative thoughts that I had as a child. And I'm forever grateful. Dancing in Serenade during the 2019-2020 season was awesome. Uh, it reminded me why I fell in love with dance in the first place. The male lead gets to jump and fly and take up so much space during that ballet. It's so wild and free and it reminds me of the beauty that I, I saw in ballet when I was young and the beauty that I've chased ever since then. During my time away from the stage, I came to the realization that I did not want to be a dumb adult. So I have been reading, and I'm currently reading Barack Obama's A Promised Land. I just got to part two, it's a very thick book. Uh, but his story is amazing, and uh, getting to read his story and um, learn more about him during this Black History Month has been a true joy. One of my favorite memories of dancing while at Ballet Tucson was getting to rehearse and perform Take 5, which was the male section of Unsquare by Cheiko Imada. Uh, just getting to jump all over the space and, you know, rehearse the counts to jazz music, which can be really hard with uh, my fellow company members and Cheiko was just... It was a great time, you know, we had some really fun days and, you know, some tough days, but overall, it's a great memory. During this Black History Month, I'm thrilled to dive into the work of many Black creators throughout time. For example, tonight I'll be watching the autobiography of Miss Jane Pittman in honor of Cicely Tyson after her unfortunate passing this year. Getting to work with support cars on both Serenade and Concerto Barocco was a blast. She is so encouraging, and that is one of the many attributes that I truly love about her. Um, encouragement is so hard to find when you're like really busting your butt every day in the studio, and she brings it all the time, and she really livens the room up. She lifts everyone's spirit, and uh, I really love working with her. I am so anxious to get back on the stage and get back to performing for all of you. Uh, it was really nice to get this break at the beginning of March. You know, we've all been dancing, most dancers, since we were young kids. Like, I started when I was six. And to finally have a break where we could do something that we never had time to uh, was so great. Uh, but a year later, I am hungry to get back into the studio and get back to performing and back to working, get back to doing what I love to do. And uh, I and all of Ballet Tucson has missed every single one of you out there. And we are so excited to get back to it.